The second big consideration is to be persuasive. I cannot understate this point. So much of what you will do as a product marketing manager has to do with persuasion. And this is particularly true when it comes to writing. Sometimes people get confused. They think their goal is to communicate or to be precise. But in the majority of cases, what you are really trying to do is persuade a user. That could be persuading them to buy a product, to use a feature, to click a button, to believe in your company, or to take some action. The thought leader on persuasion is the professor Robert Cialdini. He is famous for his book Influence. I'll walk you through his key drivers of persuasion. The first is scarcity. People are motivated to take action if they believe something is scarce. For example, using the phrase three days left persuades people to act because whatever you're offering is only available for three days. If it were available all the time, there's no sense of urgency. People prioritize things that have time sensitivity associated with them. People don't like missing out on opportunities. The second key driver of persuasion is consensus. People are motivated to do things if they believe that other people are doing that same thing. Social proof is an incredibly strong persuasive tactic. The example I have here is 90% of people prefer. If 90% of people prefer this option, then the user will likely choose that action. Some people are nonconformists, but the vast majority of people rely on consensus or social proof to make decisions. And this is particularly true in situations where the user isn't informed enough to make a decision on his or her own. Number three, authority. People are per persuaded if someone in a position of authority tells them to do something. Using phrases such as Dr. Joe Stevens or the expert in this field will persuade people. Four, reciprocity. As humans, we have a compulsion to reciprocate when given something. Giving people something for free could motivate them to take action in return. Another key concept to keep in mind is consistency. People want to be consistent. If they told you something in the past, they want their future actions to be consistent with what they said previously. You could remind people of what they did in the past or what they said by using phrases such as, since you enjoyed this product, this may prompt people to buy something or take action consistent with their past actions. Lastly, people are persuaded by things they like. Using cheesy phrases such as, you are awesome, can give your product more persuasive power. Because this is flattery, this makes your brand more likable. User experience with this type of language can be particularly pleasant. Flattery is a powerful tool for building your brand personality and giving your brand and product persuasive power.